Hello, this is Clint from the Clint from New York to Virginia channel, which is currently suspended, and I'm using this channel here just to say hello. Uh, I wanted to let you know the good news. Uh, I recently solved 95% of my chronic pain, and I'm just tweaking the rest of it. I was a chronic pain patient for about close to 30 years now, and I had uh, I was op opiate opiate dependent for much of that time. Uh, last year in 2016, I switched over to Kratom and I was able to come off of, uh, it was Oxycontin and uh, by accident in attempting to treat the Lyme disease, uh, I had used Epsom salts in my drink and I noticed after using that for about a week, the inflammation started to uh, recede. Uh, I supplement with high dose magnesium now. You have to build up a bowel tolerance. But through the high dose magnesium, I have been able to solve about 90% of the pain. Uh, sometimes I have pain free days, uh, but I'm still working it out. Um, like I said, you have to build bowel tolerance. Uh, I combine it with fish oil, and that seems to do the trick. I hope to be able to detail the methods for you soon. Uh, I worked up bowel tolerance to where I am taking magnesium 500 milligrams every four hours. I use a life extension brand. Uh, I'm using external magnesium spray from now as needed. And uh, before I go to bed, I will take a double dose or a thousand milligrams of uh, the uh, life extension complete magnesium. Like I said, you will have to build bowel tolerance up to where you can tolerate uh, this much if this is your problem behind your chronic pain. I'd always interpret it all throughout my life as uh, problems with the spine. I do have a lower herniated S5, uh, L5, S1, but even that is not as extremely painful as I had interpreted. What was happening is all the muscles would tighten up up and down the spine uh, causing the spine to shift out of alignment uh, and pinch nerves and all kinds of things. I interpreted that as structural. They almost did surgery on me. They were recommending a radiofrequency ablation. Uh, at that point, when they did that, that's when I got off the Oxycontin and went to Kratom. Uh, thank God that happened because uh, who knows uh, if I could even begin to correct it had they operated on my back so i just wanted to say hi uh, god bless you guys keep in touch via email uh, i will also i have also have the blog at uh, fascinating time to be alive dot .com. and new projects will be coming in the future new announcements and a couple surprises are on uh, along for the ride so stick around love you all bye